geez louise that's a big fish look at the size of that thing oh my goodness you're dangerous with this thing okay. hey what's up guys welcome back to another video today the brody bunch is on isla Morada here in the keys it's a northern key just below key largo and we are hanging out at robbie's marina i had no idea what we were up for we had a few people suggest to us to go feed the tarpon and all this stuff and we sort of looked this place up and we we're like yeah sure that'll be fine we got here this place is like a it's like a flea market there is our restaurant here there's shops and stores and it's a marina and there's you know you can feed the tarpon and there's a lot going on here. Parking was crazy. We happened to like get one of those kind of spots where someone just happened to be pulling out. We just kind of swept right in there, so that was great. But I mean, this place is wild. I'm hoping we can get a seat. It looks like they got tons of seating. Pretty pumped about this, to be honest. I think we're gonna, we're gonna try to feed some tarpon, depending on the uh, length of the lines and the weights and things of that nature. It's full of money. Are you gonna feed the tarpon? They might try to eat your arm. You know what else they have here? Oh no, that's in Homestead. I was hoping to go swimming with the gators. Probably not gonna do that. Did we just get a seat that easily? What are your first impressions? I love this place. This place has got a vibe to it. Hopefully the food is as good as the rest of this. I just want to go check out the whole tarpon thing. How much money do you guys think is hanging from the ceiling and the walls? <laughs> Come back to me. Yeah, there's definitely a lot, uh, a lot of money. One dollar bills hanging from here. First impression. Oh, it's good. I've got to be like those where it's like looks pretty but maybe doesn't taste good it's really good this is like a 10 out of 10 presentation point i don't know it doesn't have anything on the rim no old bay or anything oh yeah so nine and a half out of ten oh wait only a half a point four and a half out of ten four and a half out of five wait <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i can almost look past that because it looks so with good. the rest of it all right you guys want to decorate some dollars and we'll staple them up. Subscribe to the Cardi Bunch. All right, let's go hang them up. Push, 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 hard, hard, hard. Good? Good job. All right. Just picked up some new shades over there at the little store, thankfully, because I definitely left mine. Mount loud music. I also have a tendency to destroy expensive sunglasses. How much are these? 25 bucks. Hey, cool. Maybe we should get this and put it on the camper. This is quite. Ow! That was my foot. My goodness. You're dangerous with this thing. We got that for our fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm down. Unless we find a better one. Hang on to it. What is it? Oh, a pop it. How cute. Whoa. Dude, that is cool. It's like cool. Captain Jack Sparrow's book. I think that well, is way cool. Oh look, they have a tiki toss. Ow! We got one of those to put on the camper. We haven't hung up yet. Oh yeah, the um... But it's like a big one. All right, I think it's time to go feed the tarpon. I have very little idea of what I'm in for. I have one video that uh, Matt sent me from the office and he sent it to me. He's like, you gotta go feed the tarpon. So he's the reason we're here. This ought to be interesting. It's gonna be quite the experience from what I understand. 
guys hear that? Don't feed the birds. Don't okay. feed the pelicans. Let's let's watch a few people first, okay? It's kind of crazy. They'll jump up out of the water. And don't jump off the edge of the dock. All right, we got three buckets of fish. Um, yeah. So each bucket has, I don't know, six or so fish in there. And uh, we can toss them down there, feed the tarpon. We can dangle them. They'll jump up out of the water and grab them. Uh, from, geez Louise, that's a big fish. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my goodness. So they said try not to feed the pelicans, although they are aggressive and they were steel fish. This dude, chilling. He, he's like, somebody better give me a fish. I'm gonna try picking up a fish. I'm gonna try picking up a fish. Oh, oh, get out of here, what? No. Get out. Get out of the way, <laughs> pelican. Look at all this guy. Throw Look at this guy. Get a wash your hands. Daddy, watch out. Daddy, watch out. Watch out. What? Oh, get your little <laughs> punk behind out of here, boy. Okay. Oh, my God, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. He's about to take my hand off. Get. Go. Go. <laughs> yeah, they've probably been fed all day. They're probably like telling all right, Cam. Go for it. Oh, no, <laughs> they trash that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, goodness. Oh, there goes one. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, oh, oh. The pelicans are nervous. Yeah. This video throws its money channel. Let me see if I can get it. Ew. Ew. I can't. This is so gross. The fish. This is funny. Ready, fish? Three, two, one. <laughs> <gasps> that one ate mine! That's mean! Yeah! Get out of the way, pelican! Get out of my feed you. See what left. Like. Oh no, oh no! Yeah, that's oh, your oh no! That's scared, that scared me. <laughs> Little punk. It, tr it tried to steal Cameron's bucket. <laughs> that pelican just tried to steal Cameron's bucket. They're cool. They're a little punks. <laughs> this is a pretty wild experience. Certainly unique. Nothing I've ever seen or done. Uh, I'm not much of a fisherman angler type. Uh, these tarpon. Is this normal for a tarpon? Are they usually this big? These are big fish. It's pretty impressive. And then the pelicans, don't even get me started on them. Oh man, that was awesome. If you guys remember the very first episode, the very first talk I had with the girls was having no expectations, things are gonna go wrong, blah, blah, blah. We had zero expectations when we left the RV today. This is the type of thing that happens. Like the most fun, to me, this is like one of the most fun things we've done yet. Yeah. Except for maybe the dolphin swimming. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool, cool too. Was cool. Uh, but when you lower those expectations, like it can only be a surprise from there. You know, we didn't really know what to expect. So this was great. This was awesome. I highly recommend coming to Robbie's Marina. Feed the tarpon if you're into that sort of thing. The food was great. It was busy. Uh, great little sort of flea markety gift shoppy stuff going on here. Would you? I was really hoping you'd come back with a new purse. I needed it. Matches one. my ring. Oh, it does. I had to get it. Okay. Not much matches this ring. But for real though, do you actually like it? Yeah, sure. It's the, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. She's probably gonna want a drink now. That's cute enough to go with it. Huh? What? Huh? Just wait. I told you I needed a purse from everywhere we go. That's like my souvenir. And it's not anything crazy expensive. It's like 30 bucks. Cool. But it's so cute. 
What's next? Well, you know where I need to go? There's a sweet Bass Pro Shop up the street, and I need a new headlamp. And I need a key lime colada. Stat. Told you. What? Nothing. That's gonna need something to drink. Something cute. There's no, there's not even more water, so definitely. Need We're to basically drink. dying. So back to the, back to the, to the um, Feature? to the campground, to the pool. Yeah, I just wish our pool was cold. The pool at the campground isn't even refreshing to get in because it's so hot. It's like getting into a hot tub because it's just so hot when you get in there that's not even like cooling off and refreshing. Alright. Alright, alright. So the girls did some shopping. I did a little shopping, got those lights that I needed. Here's the interesting fact. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right behind me is a blimp. It's called Fat Albert, if I remember right. And you're like, what the heck is this blimp doing up here? And it turns out that it is a Navy thing and it contains a bunch of satellites and uh, other equipment in it that does a lot of surveillance in the air and in the water looking for like submarines, drug smuggling type submarines, things like that. Um, but it's really just doing a lot of security surveillance uh, used by the Navy and it has been in service since the 60s. Anyways, super interesting. Look it up on Google. I think, I believe it's called Fat Albert. Anyways, it goes up and down each day. It's uh, cabled to their sort of launch site. It's pretty neat. I thought it was interesting. I thought you guys might think it was interesting. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a bit random. It sure was exciting for us. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.